plantapedus. The region comprises of soft tissues found inferior to the bones and joints of the foot. The sole of the foot is narrow posteriorly, wider anteriorly. It has a characteristic longitudinal arch, most prominent along the medial margin and less prominent laterally. Just proximal to the base of the digits, there is an elevation, ball of the foot, produced by the head of the metatarsal bones. The medial part of the sole has two longitudinal grooves, marking boundaries between underlying mes muscles. The medial plantar groove lies between the abductor hallucis muscle and flexor digitorum brevis muscle, and the lateral plantar groove runs between the flexor digitorum brevis muscle and the abductor digiti minimi muscle. In the region, the skin is thick, rough, and only slightly movable. In its thinner and more sensitive along the arch and thicker at the calcaneal tuberosity and the ball of the foot. Here, the superficial fascia is more fatty. Fibrous strands connect it to the plantar aponeurosis, thus generating limited mobility of the skin. There also is thin nerves and venous network. The common plantar digital nerves emerge from the deeper layer in the anterior part of the plantar pedis. The deep fascia here is very dense in the midline, the plantar aponeurosis, and thinner at the side. The plantar aponeurosis begins at the medial process of the calcaneal tuberosity and is thicker in the proximal segment where it is composed of two layers. The side edge of the plantar aponeurosis sends fibrous septum to the underlying bone, thus creating three fascial compartments, housing the medial, lateral, and intermedial muscle groups. In the medial compartment, abductor hallucis muscle is the most medial and superficial muscle. The tendon of flexor hallucis muscle longus is located laterally to abductor hallucis muscle, while flexor hallucis brevis muscle lies deep to it. The lateral compartment houses the abductor digiti minimi muscle, and deep to it the flexor digiti minimi muscle. In the intermediate compartment, the muscles are arranged in four layers. The first layer contains flexor digitorum brevis muscle. The second layer contains the flexor digitorum longus muscle, quadratus plantar muscle, and lumbricals. The third layer contains the adductor hallucis muscle, and the fourth layer contains the interossei muscles. Medial and lateral nerve vascular bundles pass deep to the proper fascia in this region. These are divided from the divisions of the posterior tibial artery and tibial nerve, which occurs at the distal border of the retinaculum musculorum flexorum. The medial nerve vascular bundle runs in the medial plantar sulcus. It includes the medial plantar artery and its vein and medial plantar nerve. The nerve gives off the digital plantar nerves common and proper for three and a half digits. One, two, three and half of four as well as motor branches for the abductor hallucis muscle, flexor digitorum brevis muscle, flexor hallucis brevis muscle, and the lumbricum number one. The lateral nerve vascular bundle passes deep to the flexor digitorum brevis muscle and proceeds in the lateral plantar sulcus. It is comprised of the lateral plantar artery and vein, and lateral plantar nerve.
lateral plantar artery and deep branches of the lateral plantar nerve turn medially at the base of the fifth metatarsal bone to enter the space between the third and fourth muscle layer. Here, the artery unites with the deep plantar artery from the dorsal pedis artery, thus forming the plantar arch deep. The latter gives off the metatarsal plantar arteries. The lateral plantar nerve divides into the superficial and deep branch. The superficial branch splits into the common plantar digital nerve and proper plantar digital nerve, which serves the entire fifth and the lateral side of the fourth digit. The deep branch of the lateral plantar nerve supplies the motor branch of the muscles of the quadratus plantar muscle, interosseous muscles, and lumbricals 2, 3, and 4 muscle.